Hi, I'm Channing McCorriston, the Container Guy. Today's video will follow along as we modify a 10-foot container into a lakeside bar in the summer and be used for seasonal storage in the winter. We'll paint the container, install a mandor, strut line and slat the interior, install our upper decker brackets for a pergola, wire it, and finally show off our kiosk window that's under development. Stay tuned, hope you'll learn something. So we got the can back from paint. The customer has supplied us their paint coat of their cabin and we've painted it a matching blue on the inside. We've also painted it a nice gray, which is going to reflect the light better in there. And one thing to note about when we paint is we paint first. So our Mandor kits and our kiosk window kits, they install with a weldless system. They rivet or self-tapping screw in and that allows us to paint ahead of time and not have to worry about welding, burning the paint, or taping off individual components when we're painting. So uh, now that it's painted, we have it here and we have it all marked out to cut out the RO of the kiosk window and the Mandor. You'll notice again, I'll repeat this, that all of our components are corrugation dependent. And so we've selected the outside corrugations centered on the side wall of this 10 foot container. And what's cool about the kiosk window, these windows are, are meant as a serving window. And so in this instance, he's using it as a bar that's facing the lake. But a lot of people who purchase these will be people selling ice cream or selling liquor or hot dogs or something out of a container. And when you're on the outside of a container, because the floor is six inches up on the inside versus the outside, it's kind of nice bar stool height where this kiosk window ends up on the outside of the can and it's a nice waist height serving height on the inside of the container. So that works out very well and, and makes up the two differences on the outside of the can. And then lastly, yeah, I think we're ready to start cutting this thing. So we'll follow William along as he cuts this. Again, I'll also repeat, make sure that when you're cutting these out, you leave a couple tacks along the bottom so that when the panel drops, it hinges outwards. Make sure you have no extension cords laying on the ground so that you, you make an electrical spark or you know cut your cord, just safety issue. And sometimes when you're dropping a lot of these, you can just drop them right on a pallet and that's super efficient for removing these panels afterwards while you're modifying. So be super careful when you drop these, control the fall, just a safety concern, especially if it's the first time doing it and you're doing it yourself. So we just finished cutting out the rough openings for the man door and the kiosk window. We're gonna send the kiosk window away hopefully and get someone to build a nice wood countertop instead of the galvanized. We find that the galvanized countertop really reflects the sun in some instances right back in your eyes. It's pretty bright. So we're gonna to try to play around with this and make that out of wood. Uh, so what we're gonna do next is strut line the interior and we're strut lining it for the purpose of putting horizontal two by six treated boards as slats, so it's a decorative thing, but also the customer's gonna be able to mount their TV and electrical to this, so they'll have freedom and flexibility of just using regular wood screws to mount whatever they want inside this thing. And what I'm excited to showcase in this is these uh, modular strut system we call MSS brackets. Uh, they are, we have the single here, which is meant for the floor and also potentially terminating either up at this, uh, the top tubing, a strut that only goes along the wall and doesn't continue across. But if you know you're gonna be going up the wall and across the ceiling, then there's this MSS double. So in this instance, the 60 millimeter tubing would be right here, and this is perfectly aligned. So it uh, allows you to install a vertical strut and one horizontally and perfectly spaces it out so that it can be installed either in the non-insulated or the insulated position. So we're gonna get at this right now. Uh, William and Curtis will start strut lining this. We'll follow it along and show you how these work. These are sweet because they're very low cost. So they're not now sandblasted and powder coated, which is a bit of an unnecessary expense when you're already installing galvanized strut channel. 
So these are made out of galvanized. They're laser cut with nitrogen, so all the edges are still sealed and treated. And yeah, uh, we've done water tests, stuck these things in buckets of salt to see if anything would rust. They don't, so even outdoor rated, these things are gonna be great. And yeah, low cost, so if you're looking to for the lowest, the lowest cost or the least expensive method of strut lining your sea can, uh, check Container Modification World's website, it's containermodificationworld.com, and you'll find these. You can shop and just grab individual quantities, figure out how many you need and order the exact amount. We're just throwing on gate latches on the bottom uh, portion of this kiosk window here and we're just drilling through and this container flooring that we used as the, the top portion of, of it, the bar top, is very, very, uh, it's, a, it's a dense wood so you got to pre-drill them holes prior I just learned so started stripping that Phillips uh, screw so. Oh yeah, way better there. You can see as soon as I get to where I where I stop pre-drilling, it gets hard, and so that's good though. It'll be a good strong grab. This thing won't go anywhere. And this isn't meant to be locked. It can be, but the lock will be exposed. The dead bolts will be actually what keeps this thing locked. This is just so that when you lift up the bottom uh, bar top, you can get it closed, hold it there, and you don't have to have your fingers in the way when you go to close the top awning. Like butter. Man, works. Yeah, really good. So by utilizing our container door flashing kit, we were able to put the same uh, ebony stained wooden slats to match the interior. So we love this. This utilizes our uh, uh, modular interior systems, our strut lining of containers. And so we are able to put the slats on the door side and the end wall. This really just cleans up the architecture of the can and makes it uh, feel prettier, feel like a bit of a tiki bar inside of here. And we got some special, uh, they're like an Allen key head driven screw that uh, same stick with the galve theme here. And then, uh, and we made sure we do two of these. One time we just did one in the center and the boards kind of warped. So, so that was something we learned there. Uh, we go with all black electrical and we actually we, this thing's all wired with just a single circuit. So it's plugged in with just one extension cord. So there's only 15 amps of power inside of here, but lots of plugs for him, just lots of options. And then it's uh, just an extension cord style cable running from each. And we did our best to conceal all the wiring so you don't see it. And then if you look up, we have uh, backlit lighting behind a valence here so that gives a nice cool effect especially when it's night you can see some of that lighting come down the corrugations and out in front and then obviously you need the patio lanterns for this uh, 10 foot container patio to give you that feel and those patio lanterns are on the inside and the outside uh, hanging from the pergola so we'll jump outside there and just check that out right now party time 
So this is what the kiosk window looks like from the outside. There's the uh, the bar top here, which we've just lacquered, so I'm not gonna lift it up and touch it because it's drying. And then the awning portion of this. So this here closes up. There's the, uh, the dead bolts here that allow you to lock it when you're away. And what's really cool about this kiosk window here is that on the outside of the can, because the floor on the inside is six inches higher than the outside, it's perfect bar stool height on the outside and then it allows you uh, a more height in the inside for someone to serve out of or uh, you could have a, a lower stool or something on the interior of the can. So the offset and floor heights actually works out very well, especially for, for portable kiosks. And then this customer, this specific customer here is going to be having their fire pit situated just outside of the kiosk window and then they're gonna have a TV ceiling mounted inside this thing and that's gonna drop down. They're gonna be able to watch football games or movies or whatever right at the campfire in here, protect their expensive TV. Uh, so that, that that's really cool. That's a nice idea of the customer and, and I'm excited to see that or at least photos of it when he gets it all up and running. So these brackets here are made with 3 16 mild steel. They're white metal sandblasted and powder coated this nice textured black finish. They have a gusset inside them and that gusset and this folded profile hug this top 60 millimeter tubing perfectly. And so these screws that go into the top 60 millimeter tubing actually aren't even really required as long as there's upper decker brackets at the matching corrugation on the other side and uh, a chunk of lumber spanning across and they have multiple bolt hole locations and sizes so they can use a regular wood screw, we got quarter inch leg bolts and even up to a 3 8 bolt that could be drilled and bolted right through this upper decker bracket here. So these things are very versatile and they allow you to not puncture the envelope of your shipping container and now structurally support something above on the roof of your container not just placing things right on the roof corrugations which are very squishy you know you dimple them even when you step on them so this is the way to do it if you're looking to do something above uh, but not continuing another container above that's what twist locks are for so this modification is almost all buttoned up now i'm very excited for the customer to see it i'd like to point out a few other things before we uh, load this up and deliver it one thing is our upper decker brackets we have these uh, installed up in the top tubing of the container which allows us to build this really nice pergola. Now this sticks out three feet on the Mandor end and five feet on the, uh, the kiosk window end. And this is gonna make it very interesting for us to deliver this thing because uh, now this thing is 16 feet wide. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 10 foot end of this 10 foot container and load that on our truck. So now we're gonna be 10 feet wide driving down the highway and 16 feet long, which is similar to an eight by 20 foot container and we'll be able to deliver it. So. Uh, something we came up with there to allow us to install this pergola, show you guys how this looks, and also just uh, save the labor for our customers. So now let's jump inside and check out the black rubberized flooring that we did for them. And so here's this black rubberized floor. This is actually Gravel Guard. We've used this product quite a bit in the past for spraying over very cancerous rusts on the side of shipping containers. So especially when, yeah, the paint's real bad in certain areas. We've used the, the spray cans that are typically meant for like fender wells of trucks and stuff. And we didn't even realize the same brand has um, a can or you can buy it by the gallon and roll it on. And, and it's amazing. And, and uh, typically on, on used floors, this container was out on a rental prior to modifying it. And so there is some, some scars to the floors and it seemed to go right over there and really, you know, tie this back together. It's the same stuff that uh, you'll see on TV where they're making boats out of screen doors and stuff. So it worked really well. Um, maybe we'll leave a, a link in the description below to show you guys, you know, the product that we used. And yeah, if you, if you have a used container and maybe you, you wanna clean up the floor, this is, I would say, a good option and kinda who knows what it looks like in, in a year or so, I guess uh, we can try to update you. But uh, and upon initial inspection, I endorse it. Uh, also, another thing maybe just to show you here is uh, how this kiosk window here finished up. So we put a layer of, of waterproofing lacquer on. This is the container plywood flooring. So this is out of a new container and it seemed to, to look nice and it really matches the color of the red treated wood on the pergola. And then maybe as this summers and fades and weathers for a year, if he does decide to stain that, he probably can still throw a uh, coat of stain on this to, to match the, at least the exterior of the container. But let's, uh, let's open this thing up here from the inside and see the process. 
So the bottom has our deck style latches. And then, yeah, the gas shocks. So this is awesome. We love this kiosk window. This is, you know, I guess the slats in this thing are, are really nice, but I think this is the feature of the mod and, and something that we're working on. And uh, we thought we had it perfected, but now we're going back to the drawing board and starting from scratch. But this thing's going to be available uh, along with, you know, if you're looking to strut line a container similar to this and you want our specialized brackets or you're looking to do a rooftop deck or a pergola on your shipping container, check out our website. All these products will be listed there. You can also search uh, under the Container Guys store on Amazon.com or .ca. So we'll, as we get these things refined and perfected, we'll get them all available to purchase. And, and typically a lot of these things can package and ship via parcel freight. So it's, uh, it's relatively easy to ship all across North America and even sometimes now we're shipping to Australia and to Europe. So uh, yeah, check us out there. And I guess that pretty much wraps it up for this mod. The next step is to get it delivered to the customers. So uh, we'll, we'll get on that. It's going out tomorrow morning, but please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell for notifications if you want to follow along other mods such as this. And then as always, just check us out at tcg.ca. I hope you learned something.